Back now in the CI kitchen, you never want to bring a jerk to the party unless it's the jerk that our friend Josh Heiger from the University of Illinois Food Science and Human Nutrition Program brought because we made jerk chicken. So we did a jerk rub earlier. And for people who are just joining us, where does jerk come from? So jerk is a popular seasoning dry rub from the island of Jamaica. And we actually made it into a wet rub by just taking the same seasonings, adding a little bit of olive oil and vinegar. And then we marinated the chicken overnight. And then we finished it in the oven, and now we're done. Yeah, well, and you mentioned the vinegar, too, as a way to kind of make the, the breast more susceptible to the flavors that you're putting on it. So something to file away in the back of our minds. But in the meantime, what's the mo most interesting spice you have found to add to, like, a jerk or a Jamaican recipe? So a spice that we have here that I don't use every day is allspice. And so mm. common misconception, it's not a blend of spices. It's actually an allspice berry, that, or, which oh. is dried and then ground up, and it's just allspice. Well, how about that? I never realized that. So you're seeing our delicious breast right now, but you can also, we're going to show you here in a second exactly what went into it because there was a whole laundry list. But let me ask you, too, in terms of cooking chicken, you know, people get kind of weirded out if it's, certainly if it's undercooked. They also don't want it overcooked because then chicken gets dry so fast. Yeah, it's a fine balance. And so in the kitchen, professional kitchens in at Bavir Cafe at the university, we use meat thermometers in order to help us out. So mm. it's hard to tell just from looking at it. It's almost impossible, actually. So we want to cook our chicken to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit in order to be safe to eat. But then if you go over that, it'll dry out. Right, so be careful. Now, this, we through the, the miracle of television, we've made 24 hours that you were marinating your chicken breast in that delicious rub into 24 minutes. Um, but how long did you, did you I mean, how long did you cook it on the grill? So I put it on the grill for about 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other just to get the nice grill marks and to seal in those flavors. Okay, and make sure the grill iron is hot. Exactly, the grill's okay. got to be very, very hot. And so then we actually took it off the grill and put it in an oven at 350 degrees for about 16 to 20 minutes. Uh, but then again, make sure that your chicken is fully cooked before eating it. Excellent point. So this is really good. Can I dive in? Please do. I'll taste. Okay, this is good. In the meantime, while I'm eating, why don't you tell us about your spice box meal? Sure. So a spice box meal is my capstone project of my college career and is a project that all hospitality management seniors go through. And I came up with everything from the theme to the table napkins and then tested all my recipes, scaled them up, and then we're hope and then I'm hoping to get reservations for April 15th. Mm. This is really good, Josh. It really is. So good. They love to get shots of me eating. <laughs> but when it's this good, that's totally okay, right? Yes. So all right, so and people can get reservations by calling the phone number. Absolutely. Excellent. They could also email me per email me personally at H E I G E R two at Illinois.edu. Okay. It's so good. I want to go and eat more. You definitely need to check out his recipe. Or better yet, go visit his spice box meal. He's going to be a general manager at a restaurant one day before we know it. He's going to be cooking for you. So get an advanced taste on that flavor and see just how good it is. We'll connect you online at CIliving.tv. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.